How's it going guys? Well, welcome back to the Blue Shooting, welcome back to Buffalo Monday, and welcome to the brand new view. I'm working things out, but mostly I got a new mic stand, I got a new placement for my camera. It's something I got needed to do for a while, and I finally was able to do. Hopefully it works out okay. Let me know in the comments if you have any problems with this. Primarily, does the audio sound alright? Am I lining up with the camera view okay? Is there anything that just seems off to you? These are things I can still try and adjust and fix. I'm obviously doing my best to catch everything on my own, but it'd be helpful to have your opinions as well, just because then you give me that bit of insight that can just give me the edge. Mostly, it should be about the same, but just hello from this new perspective. I like the kind of more head-on approach, honestly, like face-to-face. -face. It makes it so that I don't have to worry too much about like line of sight for the for the talking to the camera, and I think it's going to come across a little bit more naturally. Uh, but again, just let me know. Uh, any any bit of insight you get me can help, and it can ultimately just help things make it like, be a little bit better. But regardless for that, let's just jump right back into it to see. Uh, Asumi. And are, are, they're, they're getting ready for their graduation day, qualifications, all of that stuff. Uh, they, uh, Takamiya has different approaches. She really wants to try and make sure everyone's together. So she wants to shore up the weakest of the members, help them feel confident, help them not to break. She wants to kind of coddle them a little bit. Can be a bit of a problem because it can mean that issues become systemic and people start to accept their failings as just inevitable rather than something to overcome. Isumi wants to take the harder line, but she also is making the critical mistake of continuing to disregard, disavow, and ultimately um, under-evaluate her teammates. And that's something that was pointed out to her, but she's continuing to do it. In fact, she might be even doing it more now because she succumbed to this idea of just kind of let things happen as they happen and accept the consequences as they are rather than like striving to change fate, you know what I mean? So, we're in a situation now where I think we're about to see some of the consequences, and some of those consequences are kind of being manifest in this idea of like their kind of final assessment where they have to go against their uh, instructors. Uh, her teammates want to try and like beat the instructors rather than just survive tactically sound. Asumi kind of came up with an idea where she effectively would use the weaker player, or her weaker allies that she sees as weaker as bait to try and get one of their instructors one on one to try and at least take one of them down. Eh, I'm not sure if it's going to play out very well, honestly, but we'll have to see. So, let's jump into it and see what Asumi can do. Is this late already? Looks like we wasted all of our precious spare time and now it's straight to bed. Handing in my daily report I ended with Instructor Junguji so showering me with snide remarks and abuse. Nothing out of the ordinary, really. I don't know why, but she made me rewrite the darn thing so many times. Ever since I've had my dinner and bath, I've been coming and going between my room and her office. Needless to say, I have no choice but to put up with her nitpicking. This happens every day, and I understand that her responsibility her responsibility is my superior, but honestly, it's tiresome. この報告書は貴様そのものだな。理屈と言い訳で塗り固め、不都合な事実をはぐらかし、定裁だけを取り繕っている。Interesting. It's interesting because she's critical of Takamiya's ideas in a very similar way. Theories and excuses dodging truth desperately trying to keep up appearances. いいか?こんなお高く止まった書類を見るために、私はここに座っているわけじゃないぞ。Oh boy.実に狡猾だ。穴につく。上官を不愉快にさせることに関して、貴様の右に出る者はいないな、イスミ。so harsh. <laughs> Fix it, she said. As to what in particular she took it to issue with, she didn't bother to tell me. Instructor Junguji is always trying to get under my skin with the incessant nagging of hers. Compared to my past reports, this one was much better. Straight to the point, addressing every relevant issue with no so superfluous information. I'm sure there was nothing in particular she could have objected to. In any event, Instructor Chinguji is not someone who I don't lash out emotionally. I may complain and I may be stressed out, but I realize building up our willpower is one of the most important tasks for an instructor. She's only following orders. Oh yeah. It's not like she's rejecting my report because I missed the obvious. Something about it really bothers her. But what? It's organized in a deductive manner, so the structure should be easy to follow. Every claim I make is backed up by pertinent evidence. 
By all means, this should meet her expectations. Hmm? Hmm, <laughs> what is she gonna be doing out here? Maybe she found someone else who would listen to her whine and complain? Wouldn't be that out of character for her. Wait, I don't think that's a cadet. Is that a regular soldier? They look awfully intimate. Fujisawa said she's not going out with uh, Karino. Could this be why? <laughs> hmm. I should stop. There's no reason for me to pry into her affairs. Besides, romantic relationships are not explicitly forbidden. I guess some degree of leniency is necessary even in an organization like the army where discipline reigns supreme. <laughs> Mm. Oh yeah, what's his name? What's his name? I can't. I, I genuinely can't remember again. I, I know she said it like twice. I can't keep up with it. Can't say that I'm any better. Just thinking of him makes me forget all about Instructor Jinguji chewing me out. All right. A few days later, here I think this is exam time. We're close to it. bath time again. <sighs> How'd you swing this? Having a bath this large all to myself, even if it's only for a couple of minutes, makes me forget all about the instructor's latest sermon. At this point, her complaints about my reports have become routine. May as well just go with the flow. To no one's surprise, her rants still go on forever. But on the plus side, her long-winded rants mean I get to have a bath all to myself. Amira uh, thinks it's kind of gross to do it last, but considering how much I enjoy this me time, I can't be bothered to care about that much. Hmm? Someone in the dressing room? Darn, I'm here, I was just trying to relax. Bath time is about to end. It's most likely another squad leader that got caught by Junguji. Guess that's it, I should get out. It's only right to let my comrades in suffering enjoy the bath all by themselves. <laughs> Fair. Oh boy. <laughs> We're not in uniform here. <laughs> so, this isn't an accident, is it? Why the heck would the instructor Junguji take a bath here? Maybe the instructor's bath broke down? Anyway, if she's planning to use the cadet's bath, she should have gone first. Or, that's what you would normally think. Instructor Junguji is not one to concern herself with pointless formalities. I think I only want to relax or recharge. So much for that. Starting a, st sharing a bath with her all alone feels sort of intim intimidating. Yeah, I'd be terrified. <laughs> that was fast. Why is she so fast? Is it because you have barely any time to shower when you're in, a, in a, an active combat zone? Maybe she just doesn't want you getting away. Hi. <laughs> so, are we gonna pretend like we're normal people or are we still going to be getting a lecture here? Okay, the awkwardness is tangible. Ooh. Why? Why is she right next to me? It's like a whole bath here, and it's only near me. A minute ago, she was, out, she was all out on me, and now here we are, side by side. This is kind of uncomfortable. Isumi. Hi. Ha, hi! What, what now? She's gonna scold me again? Oh, fetch! <laughs> Darn it, I thought I put it on my head. It's her fault. She distracted me. Calm down. I understand and can't calm down. I'm not even calm, but calm down. Oh. <laughs> Wait, that's it? Maybe, maybe it's because she's off duty? No, that can't be. She's always on duty. <laughs> that was one major breach of etiquette, and yet she's letting it go without a word. Hold on, maybe I can work with this. Maybe this is the rare chance to pick her brains I've been looking for. We're all alone, she's not lecturing me either. I won't get a better chance to speak with her openly. Here's the thing though, that's a, that's a door. I think she's shut the door to let you have your moments if you want to enjoy your time. You open the door, you're inviting her in. 
Okay, I won't hold back. There's so many things I want to ask her. Back in the day before the draft law was amended, female circus pilots should have, should have been a rare sight. She was one of the few, a true pioneer. Why did she volunteer? I can't miss this chance to ask. How exactly are we different? How did she get to be that strong? Knowing more about her can only help me. Good way to ask that question. I knew she, great, I knew she would say yes. なぜ志願されたのですか。やりたいことがあった。そのためには軍人になる必要があった。うん。ファイトフォーワールドウッドノーランガーライクウィザウッドニードエデュケーションアゲン。サムシンシュワンテッドゥ。オーソーインポーテ
、その道を選ぶ方が、英子になって変えるより、はるかに現実的に見える。<笑>妹たちに恩を着せて、何か有利な立場を得るためか。Oh, it's such, a, it's such a brutal breakdown. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. So, let me. Go, Lil Shin. Are you a Negimi? Nanika or a Tetsuke? No, 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 no. Holy crap. How does she know this so well? Holy cow. Kisama Kara Kita Kagiri Dewa. So, you h a n a s h i n i s k a k i k o e n a k a <laughs> That's not true. It, it can't be. Wait, the only point of reference she has to this conversation we just had. Naturally, she's far from knowing everything about me, and it's not like I'm particularly easy to read. Of course, she wouldn't understand. I know what this is psychological harassment. She's trying to make me quit. No, you idiot. She's trying to make you understand if you really have what it takes, and if you really hear. For something that's worth fighting for. Her methods might differ compared to what she's done during training, but she's definitely testing me. That was close, I almost lost it. Where did that come from? Okay, just, just come in here like a whirlwind, I'll do all my feelings and then just leave. And I hit the keyboard, I'm so flustered. <laughs> and do it. She doesn't differentiate between public and private matters. In charge of Jinguji, never stop being in control. There's no chance she would let her passion get in the way of her duty. She's lived through the nightmare. It's only natural she doesn't need to speak about what she's seen.、Uh, her, she, she's seen. Her stern appearance does all the talking. That's the kind of service pilot she is. One who wants to prepare her students as best she can for the day when they have to face the battlefield on their own. That's why she's so hard at everyone else and on herself. I was right all along. In charge of Jinguji became who she is after having survived the battlefield, something I must do as well if I wish to be as strong as her. I want to become a person who's completely independent, someone who's in control of her emotions all the time. I want to be better. To achieve that goal, all I can do for now is fulfill my duties as the leader of my squad. I have to mediate between Instructor Jinguji and the rest of them to make sure everything turns out well. I have to get better, or they'll only follow my lead if,、uh, if Takamiya approves. Can't allow the, them, that to continue. Uh oh. But there's no point in becoming a mere carbon copy of Instructor Junguji. What she expects from me is not to cor correct the others by force, but to introduce them to change their ways. For starters, I must temper Takamiya's idealism. That doesn't mean I should come down hard on her, but I have to make sure she takes a more realistic outlook. And it's not just Takamiya whom I have to learn how to handle. The same goes for Mira and Fujisawa. Otherwise, standing shoulder to shoulder with Instructor Jinguji would be nothing but a dream. Alright, here's her critical flaw, I think, here again. Again, it's this idea that she's,、uh, she looks down upon her fellows. She's, she's assuming that she is up here and they're down here, and she has to like, get them on her level kind of thing. What she's not realizing is that all three of her、uh, um, companions have skills, talents, utilizations, and strengths that surpass her own in many ways. She has to come to the understanding that each person in her squad, first of all, is here only because they are pretty darn good. Are they perfect? No. Are they top of their class? No. But they're in surface pilot training program. They didn't get kicked out. They were able to get past like the C CSEC or whatever that acronym is for the big test, right? That's the big sifter. They're past that already. Most of them can probably become surface pilots. It's very unlikely that they wouldn't be able to reach that unless they aren't unable to push themselves forward. The problem here is assuming, assuming that she's just all it is. I mean, look at her. She's saying, like, oh, I want to be like Instructor Chiguchi. I want to be like Marimo. 
but she's assuming that she already has what it takes to be like her. She's not pretend. She doesn't believe that she needs to be improved herself. She just believes that she's well. She she wants to be better, but she feels like she just has to like. Her, she feels like she okay. I'm not phrasing this correctly. Here we go. She thinks that her improving of herself is improving her team. That's what she thinks. She's made this connection that in order to become better, she has to make her team better. That's not her being better. That's her believing she's already there. She just needs to get the rest of her squad to be there too. But the thing is, we've seen that all three of her teammates have a lot of strength. And strength that Asumi doesn't seem to understand. Takamiya might be a little idealistic, but she understands working with and, and encouraging her teammates is important in team building. She understands the role of morale. That you can't just be striving constantly for better, 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 better. You do, but you need to temper it with morale. And morale isn't simply coddling people, it's about understanding where they're coming from, building a repertoire with them, and helping them understand you and you understand them. Not so much maybe even an emotional level, just simply understanding. Fujisawa has a lot of strength. She's very kick at the bit, but she has a determination and a drive that's going to get her far. She knows how to temper that with, with like patience and, you know, like trust of others. She's a little bit of a wild card, but that can be utilized very effectively. Ayamine is a great example. And then Mira, while smaller and, and, and kind of more like contrite, she seems like she's got a good mind for strategy. She's mentioned before in some of the tactics, like some of the ideas that she's had. Now, she's definitely the weakest in the TSF, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't have applicable skills in that area. And she might be the strongest of their team. Remember, like, the whole accident on the track and her willingness to actually get back up again? I don't know if the other three might have been able to do that in her situation, but she did. So she shows strength of character, determination, and of the four of this moment, she's the one I think would fight to the bitter end rather than just give in to, like, despair and fear in a critical moment. Mira has strength. All of them have strength. And Isumi is still not seeing it. Ooh, interesting. <sighs> Problem is, can I do it? Could I become as cold-hearted as Instructor Jinguji? No, it should actually be the other way around. Insurgent Jaguji is especially harsh on me, so I should treat my squad differently. I do think that she's right there. <laughs> she shouldn't try and be Insurgent Jaguji. Like, she needs to be something different, something better. Insurgent Jaguji is giving them all something very valuable for team building, and that's somebody to hate. It's weird. But the first way, the first step in making everybody unite is to give them something they hate more than the things that they hate about each other. Ooh, look at that! Oh. She looks so imperial there, like she just like she looks so tall and commanding that art style right there. Wow. Still my beating heart. <laughs> そんなことないです。私はそんなんじゃありません。いや、感情論を論理的に見せるために、ヘリクスで必死に補強しているようにしか見えない。そう、クレイジー。違う。教官が何も知らないから、何も知らないからそんなこと。貴様の学識とご両
やめてください教官あなた何も分かっていない妹たちに恩を着せて何か有利な立場を得るためか That's the one that hurts though That's the one that hurts まさきまさきどうしてどうしてあんたがここにマリカアキラダメよダメよこんなとこに来ちゃう、so、それともご両親あるいは姉君に何かを当てつけてのことなのか、oh, it's like、both of them. <笑>貴様から聞いた限りではそういう話にしか聞こえなかった。少なくとも私にはな<笑>待ってまさき待ってマリカオキラ待ってよ Dang Do you have the evil like ほほほ laugh Trying to tell you something, your subconscious is screaming at you. A dream. Of course, it was a dream, you idiot. God, pathetic. I never thought i n s t r u c t i o n j u g u j i s words would bother me this much. This is nothing like her typical su、uh, superficial abuse. No, this cuts deep inside. Mira. Did that come from the bunk below? Is Mira sleep talking? Takamiya is sleeping in her bed. That leaves Fujisawa. Damn it, I'm so cool. What the fetch is happening? What the fetch? Are you serious? No. Pretty sure this isn't YouTube friendly. Oh, gosh. <laughs> God, that's like, if, if, if YouTube does, didn't flag this, it would be pushing it. I think I'm gonna have to. I think we're gonna have. I'm so sorry, but I'm sure the coconuts have reappeared. Oh, we haven't had to use coconuts in a while, but that. Wow, that. Oh, God. Hang on. Okay. Oh, wow. I wasn't ready mentally for this. So, the cow is just the demo. Mada dame da yo. What the heck are they doing? No, back up first of all. Did they have this kind of relationship all along? I thought they were getting to know each other, but I never imagined it would be in the biblical sense. <laughs> I don't love that. What the heck did this start? I don't even know what this clear sign I'm currently incapable of holding a squad together, and it's fresh writing as heck. See, again, she turns it on herself. See that? Gosh darn it, don't do this to me. I'm guessing this is a misunderstanding. Gah! I wouldn't say I'm a versus on、uh, sapphic love now, loving now and then, but I couldn't see these two take. take but couldn't these two take us somewhere else? Where else are they gonna take it, though? Honestly, you're on a military base. Wait a second. Wasn't Fujisawa going out with some guy from the maintenance team? I think it's playing like super dramatic music, but it's not that dramatic. It's just more like surprising. Take it, Fujisawa, you slut! <laughs> That's cheating. Girls do count. Does Mira even know? 
It's true, actually. She's got a fair point here. You can't just swing. You you can you can you can have feelings on both sides. Obviously, that's a whole thing, and that's perfectly fine. But if you're in committed relationship, it counts if you go somewhere else with somebody else, even if it's not strictly. I don't, it, it, she's got a good point here. No, wait, that's none of my business. Just get the slash, uh, the slaking over with and go to sleep. Yeah. These are the moments that YouTube is going to see in some weird time when they're going to review my channel. They're going to get a complete wrong idea about what we typically cover. Sure. Or okay, it's part of the thing in visual novels most of the time, and I'm totally fine with it in situations like this where it's story based. But it's one of those things like this is the moment when, like, like, the, the meme, like, this is when your parents walk in, this is when your girlfriend walks in, and when you're watching anime, it's like, most of it's like, fine, and then it's like that five minutes of this, and then that's when they show up. Hmm? What was that just now? No way. Fuji so is bringing up the big guns? What? I have to know what's really going on. It's like really they're playing this up so much. It can't be what act this can't actually be what it sounds like. Just what the heck is going on? What are you two doing? 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 What you two doing? What are you two doing? What are you two それを缶詰に入れて保存しておこうかな。なんてダメかな。Who would buy that? Are you on drugs? <laughs> 頼むからマガオはやめて。マガオは。Stop! You're gonna choke to death. なんの騒ぎよ。こんな夜中に何この匂いじゃあ、あ、あんた、バカでしょ。あいグリー、ダメかな。Oh、wait what is happening here? Is this something actually like potentially illegal? ねえ。それって流行ってるのねえ。それって流行ってるのねえ。それって流行ってるのねえ。それって流行ってるのねえ。それって流行ってるのねえ。それって流行ってるのねえ。それって流行ってるのねえ。それって流行ってるのねえ
それ間違いなく横流しに She's dipping her finger in it? Why is she doing that? I, didn't I just say they're illegal? What's <laughs> going Does she think showing a finger in someone else's mouth is normal? It's delicious, right? Okay. Oh, I don't know what I would do. Oh, this is a real... This is this is a real problem now. It's delicious, but... It's good, so let's get rid of it! わかった。でもさ、天然由来の食料なんて何ヶ月ぶりだろうね。前に三浦の実家が差し入れてくれた夏みかん以来じゃない Right, but where did these come from? 確かにあれはうまかったね。あれで三浦、一躍訓練校のアイドルになったもんな。<笑>実家の畑で採れたんですよ。Okay. あれは軍の検査をパスして、みんなに振る舞われたものでしょでもこれは違う。She's so、right、私たちの食事は、衛心特化した体を作るために、カロリーから成分まで厳格に管理されてるのよ。その上横領品の闇流通に関わったとなると、あんたたちは二重の罪を犯している。わ、うん、かっ、わかってるよ。わかってないわ。もしこれが教官に知れたら、分隊全員の連帯責任になる可能性だってある。<笑>まあまあ、いいすみ。二人とも反省しているみたいだし、もうその辺でいいんじゃない All right. Takamiya, I like you, and you definitely have some good points, but this is where I would personally draw the line. I'd be like, look, this has gone beyond just, like, you know, daily struggles of daily, like, you know, Weaknesses and overcoming them. This is in legal territory here. We're talking like putting our all, all of our careers in danger type of stuff. Untai Zain de Ashi Narti Wanta no Imega. Gangis taking a kicking chokme stay no yo. Yoks on the nonki na koto itte rare one. Um, ma so nanda kedo. Savai del to, hora. So the coso junkai no jokio ni mitskara kama shire na shi. そうだぞ、文隊長。静かにしろよ。常識ねえな。I feel like we're running out of, like, I don't think anyone's got any common sense around here. Not a penny. She's talking back to me? Unbelievable. No, don't lose it. Be patient. Remember the promise I made to myself. わかったわよ。でも、大ごとになる前に、事実確認だけはしておきたいの。Okay. いいわね。Okay. はい。はい、はい。あの高級レーションはどこでどうやって手に入れたの簡単に足がつくようなルートじゃないでしょうね。藤沢、あたしもイスミも食べたんだから、もう同罪なんだよ。だから、喋っても大丈夫だよ。To be fair, that was under duress. I'm not sure she could quite be held responsible for food shoved in her mouth. <笑>だっけみや、あんた。別に。そんなのどうでもいいでしょどうでもよくないです竹宮さんの言う通りなんです。月子さんは厚生食が合わない私のために。Wait, how? I mean, you're alive and you don't look too skinny. I mean, you're small, but you don't look skinny. Now this makes sense. One of the reasons why Mira has failed to become stronger could be that she's not eating enough. Mira volunteered to support her family, her siblings in particular. Knowing the circumstances, it makes some sense that Fujisawa would try to help her somehow. Can't really fault her for that, but would it kill Fujisawa to show someone the same kind of consideration for the rest of us? Well, maybe it's because you don't need the same kind of consideration? If something had gone wrong, she would have ended up taking everything from Mira, regardless of her good intentions. I can't, I simply can't figure her out. Fujisawa's moral compass and all the, and the way she acts seems to change depending on how she feels at any given moment. It's mad thing. 整備班の整形兵に銀杯が得意なやつがいてさ
Right. Gimbo へ。ってあのハエのことですか It's a fun name for a smuggler. 軍隊で食料品をこっそり調達してもらうことだよ。Yeah. カリノに紹介してもらったんだけど、そいつ、整備不良をネタに結構いろんな部署に融通聞かせられるんだ。So he knows people in a lot of areas, and if he makes the right contacts, it can help get things through. Ah, what did you say? PX did you see? What did you see? Well, it's not true, but... When did you start? I think it was a few weeks ago. I knew that the Jinguji was going to continue. I knew that the girl was going to start. Right. Well, it's not true. 私たちにすらバレずにここまで来たわね。すみません。私が不甲斐ないばかりに。謝る必要なんてないよその子は基礎訓練合格したんだ。勝手にルール変えたのは神宮寺の方だろだったら、こっちだって律儀に従う必要はない。ルールを守ってバカを見るなんてごめんよ。うん。This is very, this is it. Oh, it rubs against my personal philosophies. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able You got a point. Fujisawa, here's the thing. I don't think、uh, Asumi's gonna see this, but Fujisawa is proving that she knows how to get things done. She might make a better bureaucrat than, <laughs> than a soldier, but、uh, hey, a skill's a skill. Fujisawa thought outside the box to come up with a solution to Miura's problem. That way of thinking might be what Instructor Juguji's looking for. However, all the cadets who have passed the first phase of training are expected to have the ability to perform above the basic level of competence. Right now, we're being tested under more restrictive conditions to see if we can perform and who can't. Fujisawa's actions are a clear violation of the rules. But this has made me realize that I shouldn't change the way I've been doing things until now. I never imagined I would wake up and find a trial dropped in my lap, but I can recognize an opportunity for self improvement when I see it. Okay, again, she's so self centered. It's kind of shocking. Like, she's talking about how it could burn them all, but now she's just like, how can this make me better? This is a test of sorts, and I'm not the kind of person who would let a crisis go to waste. What are you doing here? I'm not sure. 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 Yeah, that's a little shocking. Shhh! Oh, k e e a t s not the eternal title. Is me. So, no, Kawari. What does she got to go to the show? Show, go, you mean, so, I'm going to see you. Huh? More, he's just joking, I do. Me, I got a show, you know, you can't see me. Huh? Huh? <laughs> よーし決まり私も全面的に協力するよ、hmm. Interesting choice. I actually was a little surprised. イズミさん、タケミヤさん、ありがとうございます。Hmm. ああ、気にしないで。私は自分の、みんなで英子になるっていう、目標のためにやってるんだから。タケミヤ、悪いけど、さっきの空き缶。取ってもらえるえああ、いすみが処分するんだったね。あれ私の袋の縛り方、なんか足りなかったごめん。藤沢何を。うわ、うえ、な、何すんのよあ、oh, she's making her eat a little bit. おいしい天然素材 100% のコンビーフよ。うこれで藤沢も完全に同罪だね。<笑>違うわよ、竹宮。この子は手配や手引きもやってるから。これで一番重罪。な、あんた
ですよ、月子さん。<笑>常識が問われますよ。うーぐー、その子。さあ、もう寝るわよ。明日バテたくないし。そうだね。おやすみ。おやすみなさーい。ああ、そっく。Maybe this kind of thing is a daily occurrence on the front lines, given how scarce goods are. As long as I think of what happened as preparation to face similar situations, I'm fine looking the other way. Taking into account how short we are in manpower, it would be impossible to punish every single soldier who purchased illegal goods. Making an example of someone who, even once in a while, should be the most the army can do. Like Fuji Sawa said before, the black market is a necessary evil. In a high stress environment like the armed forces, many people come to rely on loopholes to survive. That's why everyone looks the other way, and I'll do the same. I'll simply destroy the evidence. No one's going to probe into this too deeply as long as we're not caught in the act. And sharing a secret will strengthen our bonds. I can use this. I know I'm being cynical as heck. There's no way this way, th there's no way this way of thinking can be right. I'm horrible. But it should be okay. I'm acting in everyone's best interest. Uh, several weeks later, huh? Is this one of the things go hit the fan? Alright. But I think we're gonna have to end here. But I'm gonna kind of share a bit of an interesting kind of parallel here. I, I struggle, and I think I'm a lot like assuming in this regard, because like, Nine times out of ten, I err on the side of following the rules. It's just my personality. I think rules are usually there for a reason, and that the reason can be simple, it can be complicated,、um, that more often you're served better by you know, sticking to the rules and going against them. Then again, I also understand that things like exceptions are kind of there. Black market, like I said, they're saying here, kind of a necessary evil at times. Not great, really would be nice if you could get rid of it, but. It's also not something you should put a ton of energy into unless it's like only in the worst cases and kind of keep them on their toes, I would say.、Uh, I don't know. It's, it's a tough line to walk. If you ever want to see a great show, that, like a comedy television show, at least it's,、uh, I'm not sure how easy it'd be to get outside、uh, that's not English, but MASH,、uh, the TV show, comedy, is really good. It、uh, takes place in military. It's mostly commentary, but like, Like, mostly like comedy, but it's also kind of a commentary on war in general. So, it has lots of serious episodes and real problems that it faces. And it's a great example of like how like, sometimes the rules can be bent, but then there's other rules that need to be like, adhered to. It does a good job of kind of displaying like, like a balance of sorts、uh, in an odd way. It's not the best example, but it's one I, I can't help but think about.、Um, but it's also like, There's some things that's like, you shouldn't be doing this because it's bad. There's things that are like exploitative and kind of putting a burden on others. That's pretty bad. And then there's endangering others. That's really bad.、Um, a good example is that,、uh, like, obviously, I'm not saying any names or, or outing anything in particular, but、uh, my wife works as a chemist, right?、Uh, specifically in pharmaceuticals, which means that the job that she's been doing lately has been pretty important. There's a lot of important stuff going on. While she may not be as directly involved as others, like, there's important stuff. It's important that she be able to go to her job, and she has a lot of pressure to do so. Uh, power, because of the pandemic, there's also lots of heavy restrictions. If you feel like you're getting sick, you need to stay home until you can get tested or your symptoms go away for a good amount of time, etc. etc.、Uh, but they also have rules about travel. Travel and basing places with large groups, which is like more than 20 or 10, and then you know, maintaining social distance and stuff. And you're expected to report if you have an interest. The company is being very gracious and will happily pay you to work from home if you're trying to stay in compliance with these like, practices.、Uh, if anything, they actually offer a bonus for people who work from home for these conditions. It's really generous and it's been, it's been a great source of comfort for us because we've had a couple scares. Thankfully, we never got sick with anything super bad, but we've had scares. However, she has a co worker who was chatting with her and talking with her about how he wanted to go to a wedding. A wedding for a friend. And granted, that's fine, it's understandable, but the problem is that a lot of the guests for the wedding, which were going to be more than the, the large group of people that you're supposed to self report, 
were from states that have high rates. And the standard process, pra practice in our and where we where we currently reside is that if you have contact with people from certain areas, you're expected to quarantine for two weeks to help prevent the spread because they start like like doing stuff like that can really save a lot of trouble, pain, and potential death. He's chosen not to do that. He went to the wedding and did not report it. And she's been struggling on whether or not to report him for it. Because it's in the interest of health. What if he is spreading sickness? He could not only shut down their entire laboratory, but he could be endangering the people he's working with and specifically their families. It would be removing our kids from school and other kids from school. It would be removing like so much potential and stuff that's going on in the world. It's like, why take the risk, especially when he's being like compensated for it? Well, the problem is, is that he's a lot of his work requires hands on, and like he would have to like delegate his work to other people, letting them kind of you know get the the praise and approval and like you know the 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 glory of that work. And his boss is pretty adamant that people do their best to be in a work because if they're not in the laboratory, they're not doing good work, kind of a thing. It's just kind of a mess. And so she's been really struggling with what to do here. And I've been struggling to figure out what I would do in her situation because we're trying to work on it together. In the end, she chose to confront the individual rather than reporting him, but expressing her concern that she sh that he should be reporting himself. And she's definitely been painted as kind of the bad guy in that situation. And that's a tough situation. And it's kind of tough to hear. Let's see me. My gut instinct would be to get Rella or angry. Oh, I'm ranting too long. It, my gut instinct would be to, to get more angry with them in that situation as well. Like, there's a lot of, like, I always think, it, I, I think in D&D terms a lot, especially because I play it regularly, and uh, there's the, the alignment tree, which I think is not super great because it's too boxy, but I think if I were honest, I'd probably be more closer to the lawful side than the chaotic side. I like order, I like structure, I like um, plans and keeping schedules and, you know, everything in its place, every place has its, every everything in its place and every place uh, has its space kind of an attitude. But I also recognize that that's not always the case and my, my organization is definitely not organized. It's just I have my structure and my system. But I don't know. Asui, I think, she probably made the right call, but I, but I do think she might have consequences for it, but we'll have to see. Anyway, thank you guys so much for being here today. Thank you so much for joining me, especially for my long rants. As always, it's a pleasure having you here. If you didn't know, we have a Patreon as a channel. It's for people who want to support the channel and help continue to grow and invest in its future. I do not expect anyone to be there. Having you here watching these videos is all that I, I'm really interested in, and I'm happy to have you. But if you are interested in investing in the channel's future, I would love to have your support. I have some behind the scenes stuff I'd like to give you access to in repayment for it, but ultimately it's about trying to see if this could become a full time thing where I could start doing videos on the daily and expanding our the scope of what we can do. But ultimately, that's probably way in the future. Mostly, I hope you can see you in, D in the Discord channel. If you haven't joined us yet, there's a great place there. You can just talk about theories, recommend visual novels for me, and just overall just chat. And I occasionally pop up and do what I can to talk with people. But you know, ultimately, that having you here again, I appreciate it. Doing this is something that I love. I love sharing my adventures with these and having you be a part of it makes it so much better. So thank you for that. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week and that you'll get to join me next week as we get to see kind of the resolution of this train of thought and hopefully we get to see the instructor battle. I'm really curious to see how that plays out. And until the next video you're watching me, I'll see me in next. I'll see you there.